Hello everyone, welcome to another brand new series on the channel, Monster Sanctuary. And this game is basically like a super fun Metroidvania Pokemon monster collector. And so it's kind of just in the opening cutscene here. So it's saying that you have monster keepers and most people live in the keeper's stronghold. And many of the people in this world learn to tame and raise monsters of their own. And they call themselves the monster keepers. And we as the main character happen to be one of four like I suppose chosen families that have particularly powerful familiars as their you know family um monster and so we're gonna go with the spectral wolf for our familiar and then here we have the other three adventures there as well but I'm the guy in red and basically we are kind of like the four head honchos of the monster training world. Uh, but I am newly inherited to this uh, wolf. And so it's now our, you know, time to prove ourselves as a monster trainer. And, uh, you know, prove myself worthy of this great beast that my ancestors had. And so... We start off the game pretty much um, right away. We get our familiar and we're going to go with a bit of a Latin uh, phraseology here. So we're going to have Lupus, our wolf companion. And what's super cool and like I suppose unlike Pokemon is that like um, it it has like the the monsters can talk they're like sentient or at least the wolf is so monsters are wild things the only reason i'm helping you is because of the bond we share with your family most monsters are less inclined to help you than i am that is why you must always raise your own monsters and they will grow alongside you and be as loyal as i am the best way to gain these monsters is through hatching them from eggs but of course you have to fight and defeat monsters to get those eggs so we have our tutorial, which will be against this slime monster, a very, uh, you know, classic um, first monster for RPGs. Like I'm thinking of like the Dragon Quest series. But like Pokemon, um, monsters have elemental weaknesses and elemental affinities and resistances. And so... Um, for now, the combo system won't really matter, but basically just go for attacks that do kind of super effective damage for now. Um, but again, this fight is pretty much nearly impossible to lose. So with that, we beat our first monster. Get a three star rating, which isn't that bad. And we get some experience to level up. And we also got a blob egg. So we now get to hatch our first monster, which will get us our first achievement. So here we have blob and the Latin for slime is bitumine. <laughs> So we couldn't call it a slime in the game for copyright reasons, but we're going to call it a slime in Latin. <laughs> and so Lupus then is saying that you have hatched your first monster, but right now it's weak and to train it. You have much more for you to learn. So you and the blob have a lot in common. Let's continue on the Keeper's Trail and we have to go find old Byron. He is a teacher that has taught many of my other ancestors. So we have to go find him. And as you can see in the top right, we have kind of, you know, a color-coded map that's also kind of in verticality as well. Uh, so that's kind of the Metroidvania kind of, you know, the side-scroller with like, I'm sure we're going to get movement options later on, but um, for now it's just moving and jumping and fighting some monsters. 
But right now, you'll see in the top that there's a combo meter, and it augments our damage. So, watch now. I'm going to use Arcane Bolt, and our combo then goes up by 4, which means the next hit will do even more damage, 120% damage. And hypothetically, if I had a third monster, its attack would do 180 more damage. So this is where you kind of want... And what's nice about this game is that it's not just physical attacks. It's like healing uh, procs increase your combo. Uh, putting on buffs increases your combo. So, like, it really incentivizes, like, every sort of skill will help... Uh, a final damaging move at the end of the turns and so like odds are most of the time you want to kind of have your heavy hitter the in the back to gain as much of a damage boost from the other either support or you know attacking options the other the other monsters were doing and you'll see me like using a claw attack that's like the creature's uh special um ability and basically other types of monsters have other types of abilities but for the Spectral Wolf, it's just kind of a physical um, attack that can like break apart certain objects, uh, crack cracks in walls, vines, things like that. Whereas if we picked the bird, for example, it'd be able to carry us around for a little bit of flight for like extra distance. So again, it all depends on what your opening uh, familiar is, but... Uh, as you can see with fighting the blob, we can just get any monster we're fighting here. We do have a chance of getting their egg uh, to spawn as well, you know? So here we have a new guy. It's like a little uh, fire caterpillar and a little rock, rock seed type guy. Um, but for now, it's all fairly simple and like the blob can heal as well. So like that's obviously really good that we have like a, a healer at the moment as well now what we don't like is that this guy has like an earthy kind of element so it's able to like do big damage to our wolfy boy and the um caterpillar gave it a defense boost so hopefully attacking with magic here now and you know getting our combo up a bit more Will increase our damage just enough to KO the creature and get us three stars. So we're getting gold and we're getting like copper and other bits and pieces that I'm pretty sure will be useful in like crafting or something. So with that battle we've now gained a new skill and we're gonna go to Lupus and they kind of all have these different skill trees but for Lupus I'm gonna stick with Claws and we're going to get him the passive ability for lifesteal. So, and what's nice is that you've learned it. And if you kind of misclicked, you're able to click something else. Just once you don't enter a battle with your skill point spent, you can kind of respec it. Um, which is nice. And your monsters can also hold weapons. So it's a bit like, you know, Final Fantasy. You have like weapons and accessories. You can give to your creatures to make them more effective or to like kind of, you know, give them a boost in certain stats and whatnot. But here we have another new enemy, the Viero, a bird enemy. So we're going to just give it a bit of a smackaroo. And you can see there now Lupus is like regening a small amount of hit points there. But I, spoiler, like, I collect the bird, but I am loving the bird. He is, like, the biggest support little machine going, which is super, super nice. He gave uh, a strength buff there, but his other abilities in, like, the buff tree, like, let him give random bonuses whenever he gives a bonus, and, like, you know, so he loves giving buffs to the party and I am the type of player that loves, you know, playing the support characters, playing the bard, playing the clerics. So, you know, if I can buff, if I can give support, if I can give positive statuses, I am all the happier to do so. And we have gotten a Viero egg, so living and loving life right now. 
So, that's the thing with this game though. You kind of just fight some monsters, hatch an egg, and what's super nice as well... Oh, Avis is the Latin for bird. So, loving that. But what's nice is, when you hatch them, they hatch, like, around the level of the, um, of your monsters. So there's not going to be, like, a huge need to, like, grind them for levels and stuff. And so, for our little slime buddy, we got him Slime Shot, which is, does earth damage and poisons us. So I'm very much going to try and build Blob to be the kind of, he applies poison and then he's able to heal up the party while still doing damage with the poison, you know? But combo buffing, which is like my favorite ability that Avis has, you basically, whenever you give a buff, he has a chance of applying another buff. And these can be like random buffs that you like would never have access to normally uh, for much later in the game. So um, you can get some pretty crazy combos. And oh, accidentally uh, fell too far there. But that's the thing, you're going to want to like explore and then you can see there his whole uh, creature interaction is that you can grab him and he can uh, flutter you across a ways a ways. But now we have three birds versus our particular team and what's nice is that these creatures are weak to earth so we now get um, poison and all that good stuff and you can see there he applied attack to everybody, but since he applied the attack buff, he then applied a random buff to a random ally, which is quite nice. So now Slime has strength up and magic up, which is quite nice. Which means our, ma our magic attack is going to do even more damage. And we're going to just follow up with a beating there. And then it's actually so low the poisons so we're going to take him out. So we were super lucky and crit twice defeating that enemy. And then KOing the other enemy, getting us an achievement and five stars. Now, I have to be honest, the reason you didn't see the achievement for the first enemy being defeated is because I kind of recorded for an hour and then the footage got corrupted so I had to then record again. But I got five stars and another Viero egg, so I'm like, may as well hatch another bird. Let it be getting, um experience so we have zephyr as well little nod to resonance of fate there um but i'm probably not going to use them but it's just nice to have like another option of like a different type of bird uh creature and so this game is just super super fun but what's nice as well Is that, so here we kind of have the situation here. So the combo adds, again, with damage and with buffs and stuff. And so with three creatures now in the party, that's kind of our max is three. Um, we're able to let our wolf get like massive, massive damage boosting to his two claw attacks, you know. So with four, and then another four is eight, so he's doing 140 extra damage. So that's really kind of that aim of the game, is to like get your buffs up, get your, get your powers up, get your debuffs on the enemies. And what's nice as well is that like healing counts as well. So like you got four heals there, it counts the combo four, you got four hits there. So every action and every possible action is valued by the game, which I think is super duper cool. So we are loving that nice bit of experience and we're kind of on the lower level now where we started. So again, I love the like verticality of these types of games. It's like super cool. And again, it's kind of figuring what kind of creature do you want to like make for, you know, the different characters in that. And so 
I'm kind of wanting the wolf to be straight, you know, damage, damage. I don't mind the Avis being like a mixed attacker, but we definitely want like our slime to have like super good mana regen, super good magic for his heals and stuff to be doing super good. And yeah, just equipping some accessories for like mana regen and mana pool for him. Yeah, like I was thinking about um, unlocking his like neutral fire damage. Yeah, the strength boost overall, like the stat boosts are powerful. So um, we're going to see this come into play uh, this combat for sure. And you'll see the latest little thing that uh, Avis is after getting there is um, it basically triggers another attack at the end of his attack. So again, it's just building up the combo even more. So again, we want to kind of get rid of the slimes first, purely because the slimes are capable of healing as well. So once they're gone, it's like a lot easier. And again, this guy is just like a little heavy hitter, but now that he's down to just him, we can give a little Healy up to our Lupus. And if we get lucky with a crit, we don't. But that's kind of where, you know, I healed up uh, the wolf, but realistically, if I had a just Arcane Blast would have been done enough damage to KO. Unclear. But a four star, and like we're getting copper and little potions, that's super good. And getting levels as we go, which we love that for ourselves. And with the flying there, oh, I was. I tried my best to make it that far, didn't work out. But this is where. You know, swapping between your different uh, creatures and having different creatures in your party that have different overworld effects is uh, really, really important as well, you know? So our wolf was able to tear through those vines, get us those nice little bits of items, but then we also need our bird to kind of help glide us to certain areas where we wouldn't be able to jump at all. Just getting, just getting used to used to um, this, but again, super nice little game. It's actually a game that I backed on Kickstarter. Uh, so like when this game is in like its alpha development, and like my friends were saying for ages, oh like go back and play it. It's actually such a good game, and like it's finally finished, like fully released now, and like I can say that like there are definitely like a lot of you know a lot of heart, a lot of good like. Um, praise going towards the game so I said look I love RPGs let's like go back and, and give, this, give this a go you know so again poison proving to do all the work and getting us a nice KO and that's what's kind of nice is that once you know oh this particular enemy if I just do a full round of attacks with my monsters you will get a KO then it's like oh well happy days you know just take one out one at a time and i know that it's not strong enough to you know take us out but after this fight that's going to basically be the end of the episode but let me know what you guys think let me know what monsters you enjoy i hope that i get to keep and i'll talk to you guys next time have a good one